Good afternoon. After Alvin, sir, it's very tough to express my views, I think. <laughs> yeah. So myself, Dr. Kala, uh, uh, Professor of Pharmacology, SR Medical College. So I am here for the past, uh, since 2012. So the question about the first one. Uh, so I have never attended the UHV program. Praja, Madam, talk only. So after that, uh, but uh, as such, I haven't uh, attended any one of the program. So the takeaway points, the first one, uh, the circadian rhythm. So we, I have to stick on to the circadian rhythm. I never uh, known about it previously. And the second one, having uh, water. I used to take water uh, at least uh, around one liter. But uh, the point from this class, uh, so that, is, that should be before uh, sunrise. That is the point, second one. And uh, third one, uh, yeah, food items, food items. That's the third one. Then the, I want to emphasize the thir third thing, that is it should be incorporated in our schoolings and as well as our college. So I would like to emphasize in the three points. One is the uh, attending body signals. So that should be from the school onwards, because I used to have a patients, uh, especially kids, with the repeated urinary tract infections, because the time will not be given for them to go and attend the, the body signals. So it should be incorporated in the school. It should be taught to the not only to the children and also to the teachers. And then the second one, the food habits. The younger generation, they always there's a the, to last week. There's an opening in the KFC opening in our Urupakam. So that there was a big queue to get the KFC chicken. The KFC chicken for almost the people who are waiting for two hours. That is how the food habits uh, following by our younger generations. So yesterday I had on a patient that's a 20 years old female had a skin allergy. Uh, I asked the history, food history. So he, she said uh, daily around 200 to 300 rupees spending for getting the, the lace chips. Just imagine 200 to 300 only for lace chips. That is her food. So I immediately recall all the thing taken by our ma'am. So this could be the reason. So I uh, given the advice to her. So that is a food habit should be changed in our younger generation. The third one is the cloth and the heels. When you go to our uh, SRM campus, I think many of you find out the, the thing in our uh, wearing clothes. So it should be emphasized in the school children. So that's all. And thanks a lot for the positive and uh, get interactions. Thanks for the opportunity. Thank you.